Hello, Pokemon Wi-Fi TV viewers. My name is Jim, and um, yeah, I'm gonna bring you a Pokemon Online match today. I had against uh, a battler by the name of the Doldros or something. Doldrums, that's it. And um, yeah, I'm Jim. I used to be a uh, an owner in the Pokemon Wi-Fi Zant chat, and uh, yeah, it's a cool place. Come along, battles and shit. So uh, yeah, today I have a Wi-Fi uh, PO match. Uh, standard OU. And uh, Stan is not a tier I've been playing a lot of, a lot of Dream World and uh, Ubers for me, and some U on the side, but uh, normal OU, yeah, it's iffy, but I'll get into it, and uh, anyway, let's start off with the battle. Uh, Rotom against Scizor, I knew he had the Gastrodon, and I know Scizor doesn't pose much of a threat against Rotom, so I go for the trick straight away, just because Gastrodon is only used to counter Rotom and OU, unless Rotom carries HP Grass, and it doesn't. So anyway, I'm switching to Celebi. Do uh, to take the status or the stab and uh, threat with the Giga Drain or Energy Ball. But I just go for the T Wave, knowing that he is going to switch and he's ground type, so I'll obviously hit something else with the T Wave. And I paralyze his Latias, which is good because it, offensively it poses a big threat to my team. I go into Jirachi, who resists both its stabs and is a special wall, so can take it very well with the Wish recovery. I go for the U turn as he sets up a sub so I can break it and get switch initiative. As uh, he goes for the calm mind, and I go into Terrakion here. And this is a new Terrakion set I've been testing. It's a choice band one, which does pack a punch. And if I was adamant here instead of Jolly, this would have been a kill, but unfortunately it's not. He goes for Dragon Pulse and uh, brings me, you know, a little under half. And he switches out, goes into Skarm, uh, who can tank the X Scissor. And because I am choice band, I'm going to have to switch locked into the move. Um, so I switch out, going to Celebi. He sets up his spikes, gets more hazards on the field. Well, his first bit of hazards. Um, and uh, he switches out here, goes into his Latias, pretty much death for I go for the Leech Seed, um, get some residual damage on. Uh, just a way of hitting it, because offensively the Celebi can't do much. It's got Kick Drain, HP Fire, and they're both resisted by Latias, so residual damage is nice, get some health back. Anyway, switch into T Tar now, and uh, majority of T Tars I see are especially bulky variants. But uh, this is per appears to be a Scarf Tar, which I was quite scared of because I don't see them a lot anymore. It's more early fourth gen. I've seen these and they're all of a sudden making a comeback which is uh pretty cool actually. So anyway, um I don't know if he double switched predicting my Terrakion switch, but anyway I'll switch out into Terrakion. He goes into Scarm. I don't know if the close combat see how much he does because I am choice band is gonna do a lot. As he sets up his spikes. Now he switches not want to take another close combat because it is going to be a really close min max damage if it's going to be a two AK or not. But uh, I have the uh, the second close combat. Uh, so he, he switches into Mens, and um, you know I'm shitting bricks at this point. I'm thinking, you know, what's Mens going to do? It's a very versatile Pokemon. Don't know what set it's going to be. So just stay in to to gauge how much the close combat is doing. See if I can get a min max damage and see what set it is. Because for the Roost, so instantly I think mix Mens. So I switch out going to Rotom. Uh, as he goes for the Roost again, trying to bluff the HP Ice, but then again, HP Ice isn't all that common in OU. Um, I do use HBR's Rotom, but I don't see a lot of others who do. Anyway, he goes for the Draco Media, uh, as he uh, switches out. I also switched into Rotom because I forgot I wasn't uh, Choice Scarf anymore after I tricked it to the Gastrodon first turn. Anyway, I go into uh, to Gengar now, who can do stuff. And I go for the sub, um, as he goes into his Gastrodon, which I know is Choice Scarf. And this is a sub disable uh, Gengar set, meaning because he is uh, Choice, I can lock him into a move with Disable and he won't be able to use it so he'll have to switch out guaranteeing me a free sub or a free hit on anything that comes in. So he goes for the Recover, so I go for the Disable, trying to disable the Recover, figuring he's just going to stall all day. But no, I don't know if he predicted that because the sub split set is honestly more common. But I go for the Focus Blast here and uh, this is uh, quite influential. I get a crit here, uh, which I know mattered because uh, even, you know, incredibly offensive sizzles that run no defensive EVs can't, can take it, sorry. So anyway, he goes to Gastrodon now. And um, I'll make a dumb move here. He goes for the Ice Beam. I knew he was choice. And I was going to do the Sable, which is really predictable. So I should have gone for the sub here instead. But whatever. Um, this Gengar does run Focus Blast. But yeah, he because he is a Scarf Tar. And he goes for the Pursuit. Knowing I would switch and kills me. That was a nice play. I'm going to Dracion. Maybe to bluff choice if I were to bring it in. But. Uh, seeing how much it did to Latias, you know, he's gonna know that it's choice banded, so 
He's going to switch out, going to Skarms, I bring a D Knight. And I go for the Dragon Dance, uh, put it in the switch. And uh, here I can uh, do one of two things I can Dragon Dance predicting the Roost, or Fire Punch predicting the Whirlwind. And I made the dumb play, and I went for the Fire Punch because I was pretty sure it wasn't going to kill. And uh, now that I go for the uh, the second Fire Punch, it's not going to kill. And he is going to be able to whirlwind me out into something else. So we're going to Celebi. Uh, this particular Celebi set uh, does carry the HP Fire. And you should really recommend using Celebi in OU. It's fucking good. I mean, it can it can do... It can stall out Ferrothorn, which is the main thing I like about it. And things like uh, Scizor and Fortress are outsped and killed by Hidden Power Fires. But anyway. Uh, I... I stay in here knowing he's going to pursue, not crunch. Um, and I go for the Leech Seed, get some health back. Yeah, wasn't really that good a play, but in my mind at the time, I thought it was, it was decent, whatever. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to go back into Dragonite now. Uh, this is a DD multi scale uh, leftovers D Knight, meaning uh, after the Sandstorm, I will be able to be back full health and with the multi scale. Uh, I just go for the Dragon Dance. As he keeps switching in between Pokemon and Ments, trying to get some uh, some intimidate on me, but <clears throat> you know it's not really going to work. The fact that I do have the speed boost, and after the speed boost, I will be able to outspeed his Ments, means that I'll be able to kill him off. Despite the attack drop, it is you know base 134 attack stat Pokemon. It's stab and super effective, so it's it's going to kill pretty much. Uh, his last is the his uh, Scarf Tyranitar, who misses a Stone Edge, which doesn't matter because. Uh, my last Pokemon is a Jirachi that uh, can sponge the hit very easily. Uh, here's the second one and takes me down. Um, seeing that, it does 100% tells me he's Adam and not Jolly. Uh, it's a fun fact. <laughs> but he goes for the Stone Edge here, as I go for the Iron Head, and I'm going to take him down. That's a good game, the Doldrums. Um, yeah, it was a very good match. Um, I noticed his uh, ranking was a lot higher than mine, so I was happy to win. <laughs> Um, don't play a lot of uh, Wi-Fi, more Dreamworld or Uber's player. But um, if you want to appear a battle in the Pokemon Wi-Fi Zach chat, I'm under the name Jim Bond. Um, yeah, just challenge me for a battle. I'll, I'll do Wi-Fi battles occasionally. But uh, yeah, thank you for posting this voice or Omega or Sky, whoever does this. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Bye.